Hi everyone and welcome to my place. During a recent visit to Japan, I took some Ikebana and Morabana classes. Well, actually I took three days worth of um, training because I really fell in love with it and felt that it was necessary as a floral designer that I had a pretty good grounding of all the designs in the world. Now this is one that I learnt while I was away and I've actually cheated the process, which I'm really happy about. Now, this is my design. People often ask me, uh, what are your designs all about, Esther? So this is the design, and this is how it started. And it started off with the container, and it started off with this little anthurium plant. And I thought, now, how can I do this that will be easy for you guys to do at home and something that you can do that can be really lovely and long-lasting? So basing all the principles that are involved in a cabana and I'll just share with you a cabana is actually means living flowers or Kato, which is the way of the flowers. I absolutely loved it. So the seven principles, one is silence. That means that you have to look at what you're about to work with or define what you're going to work with. And it also brings peace of peace to the mind and makes one more tolerant. I love that. Minimalism is another big aspect of it. Um, shape and line, and the shape should be minimal and natural and graceful as found in nature. Um, form, form found rather than planned, um, there's humility and there's the, of course the aesthetics of it and then there was structure and it's based on the scaling triangle which is three uneven lines but as I've discovered that this isn't always what happens in nature so I think that okay so looking at the plant and I'm looking at the lovely red here I'm looking at the leaves I love the white container because it's going to sit onto a white surface you could perhaps use green or you could use well pretty much whatever you've got I prefer white and green va vases but sometimes when I'm working with a primary color I'll actually use the primary color but I just thought that the green was offset quite beautifully with the white and sitting on my table it's going Going to be really lovely. Now they talked about, uh, so the, what I've done here is I've just got the squeeze trough, I've put foam down the bottom and, hold on, I'll bring this out so that you can see it. This actually is a living plant and the reason I bought this is because uh, I'm using this is because I actually want, I don't want that in there, I want it to continue to live for as long as I can and I'm going to use some artificial with it. So I've just put some foam down the bottom of my container, a block down the, a little bit down the bottom and then two side bits just to hold this in place. So I'm just gonna push that down and into there and I'm pushing the lip of the container actually underneath the lip of the container I've got here just to make it nice and strong and sturdy. Now they used lots and lots of branches and they actually go and spend as much time on looking for that beautiful curvy line as they can. So what I'm going to do with that is hopefully get that stuck down in to the container and into, oh, perfect, I love it when it goes like that. A lot of time goes into placing the branch just so. And what I'm loving about this is it's sweeping up and over and that lovely graceful line just gives that beautiful movement and it just gives the eye something to wander around. Now I've got some anthuriums, I've got five anthuriums, bigger anthuriums. You could perhaps use artificial if you've got them. I, Oh, fresh if you've got them, but I actually don't have access to those. So that I'm just going to push down into there and I'm just going to slowly bend and manipulate them. Now they don't use a lot of um, base construction methods like we would use with the uh, Oasis or pin holders or wire. A lot of things they use bamboo and they actually build up the, the construction um, before they, or the base construction before they start. Now I'm going to bring this one here. Hold on. Oops, let me just find my bit. I'm going to bring that into there nice and long. And just knowing that it's based on that scalene um, triangle, I need to now actually try and achieve that. And I'm not saying with straight lines because they didn't do that. It was more of a visual thing. And to be a, a master of Ikebana or Morabana takes many, many years. So I'm just shortcutting the circuit here so that I can achieve what I want 
as quickly as I can. And the other thing is placing the flowers as if they were naturally growing. And with these, this one here, I'm going to just cut that because I felt like I feel like I just need another one in there. So is it like my idea of design is that you've got to have that transition from your furthest point into your to the center of your arrangement. And the more I've got lots of bulk in here with the leaves. So I just figure that for my eye, I need to bring that into the design. And then to make this even longer, let me just get rid of this so that we can all see where I'm going here. I absolutely loved it and I can't, I'm just so happy that finally Asta's place can be off on tour that I can start looking at all the different types of designs that happen throughout the world. Now to me, I'm, I love how that go, that anthurium is placed and, but I'm not very happy about that. But as I was told that it's as if it was naturally occurring in um, nature. So, you know, not nothing grows perfectly, perfectly. Because when I look into here, into this plant, I've got one that's growing over there and then I've got one little one over here. So who am I to be arguing against nature? So let me just turn this around so that you can see where I'm going here. So, you know, your eye is hitting this and it's the transition of your eye hitting that fine point there goes into the base and the bulk of the body. That's the reason why I placed that there. But I saw these all over Japan and th they were just absolutely beautiful, beautiful designs to look at. And when I see this little anthurium going this way, it sort of kind of annoys me. But, you know, who am I to be deciding that nature's better than I am? And, and you know, as I learned, to go with nature is probably the best way forward. So there we have have a very simple arrangement and the other thing I'm just looking at before we go any further is uh, we don't want that in the design so let's just cut that up so there we have a simple design I hope you've enjoyed it and that this is something that you might like to have a crack at making at your place if you've got weddings coming up or special occasions how great is this you've got living and you've got the artificial, you could have the fresh with it, that will just keep going and going and going. I love this type of designing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again another day. Mm -hmm.